places to visit in Mauritius. Some quotes say that Mauritius was first created and then heaven, with heaven replicating Mauritius. It's a land filled with images of serene beaches, peaceful white sands and attractive smiling natives that blow our minds. Mauritius is an island republic east of Madagascar that sparkles like a pearl in the southern Indian Ocean, known for its magnificent beaches, exciting mountainous scenery, rolling valleys and dormant volcano, and conveniently accessible waterfalls. It's a fascinating and charming destination for your unforgettable vacation. Hey travelers, welcome back to your favorite channel, The Travelist. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and yeah, like the video for sure. Today we'll explore the places that are worth visiting in Mauritius, a destination of sea, sun and sand on our planet. Head to Mauritius, south of the Charmerel waterfall. It's one of the most beautiful sights to see in this country, if not the most gorgeous. This amazing natural wonder is 83 meters tall and you can see how powerful it is even from a distance. The waterfall is situated on the west side of the Black River Gorges National Park. It is possible to visit there on a tour or go solo by paying an admission charge. Make sure you walk down to where the water hits the earth or up to the watch point to snap excellent shots of the falls for a breathtaking experience. You can explore more wonders along the route by taking the South Mauritius Island trip which includes sites such as the Seven Colored Earth and the Black River Gorges National Park. Seven Colored Earth, which is located next to the Charmerel Waterfall, is a breathtaking natural wonder and has seven different hues of sand dunes that have piled over the years over 7,500 square meters area. It's simply mind-boggling to see these seven diverse soils shown so colorfully in such a little space. You may enjoy the pleasant cafe on site at Seven Colored Earth, where you can get a cup of coffee or munch on some small nibbles. There is also an overlook with stunning views of the surrounding region. In addition, there is a natural reserve where ancient turtles are safeguarded. One of the advantages of touring through the southern parts of Mauritius is that you're not only surrounded by beautiful beaches but also adjacent to the island's largest natural park, the Black River Gorges National Park. The incredibly big jungle which spans 61 square meters is a true haven for nature enthusiasts, hikers and travelers. The Mauritius Kestrel Pink Pigeons parakeets, and other flora and animals may be found in abundance here. Many creatures are endemic, and you'll get an opportunity to see them if they're feeling particularly interested in interacting with humans that day. In addition to the lovely park, you'll get the opportunity to see the Alexandra Falls from a vantage point. Even though it's not that massive, this waterfall will take your breath away. The UNESCO World Heritage Site, Le Morne Brabant, is another noteworthy destination to visit in Mauritius's south. It is an important part of Mauritius's history and culture. It's history at its finest. The peninsula of Le Morne Brabant is home to a basaltic mountain surrounded by palm trees and some of the most beautiful beaches you'll ever see. In Mauritius, the mountain represents freedom because it was apparently where slaves would go and seek sanctuary from their oppressed life. Aside from the Le Morne Brabant, another magnificent sight is an underwater waterfall that can only be viewed from a helicopter. The whole region is breathtaking and it is a must-see in Mauritius. You should not forget to go on tour to Le Morne Brabant and trek the region while learning more about its history and current representation in society. Grand Basin, commonly known as Grand Talao, is Mauritius's holiest location and a marvelous must-see attraction in the southern part of the country. The temple was erected on a volcanic crater lake and provides a unique character to learn about the island's religious heritage. The region is surrounded by beautiful green woods and is significant since it is devoted to Goddess Shiva. A 33 meter tall monument to Shiva the destroyer and Durga Ma, who is renowned in Hinduism as the universe's defender stand next to Grand Basin. It is a place where folks worship, have rituals and rejoice with festive celebrations. Many monkeys will also be seen exploring the area, seeking food and ways to annoy humans. In a way it's really funny. Fortunately, they're adorable and you have a lot of fun looking at the inquisitive creatures. If you've had your dose of adventure or want to relax in some less adventurous spots, head to Cure Pipe. It's considered Mauritius' second metropolitan city since it is the island's largest commercial hub. Because of its various features, it attracts a considerable number of tourists each year. It is the tallest city in Mauritius, with an elevation of 500 meters above sea level. The Cure Pipe Botanical Gardens are Mauritius' second biggest and have been dubbed the lungs of the city for their importance in the island's existence. 
Visitors may view uncommon plants and flowers throughout the gardens thanks to the well-preserved ecology. In addition, the Cure Pipe Botanical Garden hosts a flower festival that devotes the whole event to the preservation and upkeep of the garden's flora. Mauritius is a volcanic island with old and dormant volcanoes that have evolved into natural wonderlands complete with forests, lakes and more throughout time. So there's no shortage of exotic flora and fauna that'll simply take your breath away. How astonishing does that sound? One of these places that is known for its scenic beauty is the Trau Ox Surf's Crater, which is a stone's throw away from Cure Pipe. At first glance, the crater looks to be nothing more than a hole in the earth filled with water and surrounded by beautiful flora. However, when you consider that it is 350 meters in circumference and has a depth of around 100 meters, it is rather astounding. You must go around the crater for several angles in order to observe it in its entirety. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in Mauritius the South. Also, don't miss out on going to the coast from where you can view the serene Trau Ox Surfs. It's more fascinating to go on a tour of it since you'll learn more about its history and how it got to be what it is now. After discovering some of the best spots to visit in Mauritius' south, you'll need a taste of the island's famous beaches and seas. This is the best time to visit Blue Bay Marine Park to witness an incredible coral reef lagoon with a thousand year old corals and fauna such as sea turtles and more. This is an excellent spot for snorkeling and diving as well as witnessing some of Mauritius' fauna. The region is government protected and it is really a gift to the residents as they will be able to experience the country's underwater life while seeing over 38 distinct varieties of corals in their natural environment. Snorkeling is quite popular in this region and there are numerous tips and programs available to let you get a taste of life under the waves. However, you must use reef-friendly sunscreen since it is forbidden to use generic and normal sunscreen there. It's kind of weird though. If water sports are your jam, head to Grand Bay, which is a coastal community and a popular tourist beach in Mauritius's Riviera du Rempart area. The resort town of Grand Bay, formerly known as De Bocht Zonde Eident by the Dutch in the 17th century, is famous for its exquisite beauty of green seas and is Mauritius's most popular vacation destination. Make your booking now so you don't miss this grandiose. It has safe swimming, sailing, windsurfing, and water skiing amenities. It's the starting point for deep sea fishing cruises and boat excursions to Mauritius's northern islands, such as Gunners, Coin, Flat Island, Round Island, and Serpent Island. With an underwater sea walk, submarine adventure, and an underwater scooter, this is also a terrific sight to experience Mauritius's beautiful underwater marine life. Let's head to the southeast coast. Ilo Zegret is a small coral island located 800 meters off Mauritius's southeast coast near the little town of Mahibo. The Mauritian Wildlife Foundation has classified the island as a nature conservation site and it is being well maintained. Ilo Zegret was declared a natural reserve in 1965. The Mauritian Wildlife Foundation has worked extensively to rid this coral island of invasive species and allow the native forest to regenerate. It is the biggest islet of the Grand Port Bay with a surface size of 27 hectares. Being the only surviving dry coastal woodlands on Mauritius, it is formed of coralline limestone partly overlain by sand and soil deposits. The Kestrel Rare Pink Pigeon, Green Gecko Felsuma and the Albadra Giant Tortoise are just a few of the rare birds and animals that you can find and they will amaze you with their beauty. The giant tortoise, among other animals, has been rehabilitated. As a result, Illu Zigret has developed into a lovely natural destination worth visiting. So that's all for today, folks. Mauritius is a traveler's paradise with surf, sand, and fun, and sun under all one roof. Which was your favorite spot? Comment below. Before you start packing your bags to head to bask in the sunshine of Mauritius, like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and push the bell icon for notifications and we will see you in the next one.